My opponent in the second game is once again Az, going by the name Az LOL. He is in the division of Immortal Yankee, that's kind of cool, and his record is 85 and 52, so here we go. Hey everybody, once again, this is going to be on Scrap Station, and we've got Sai in the east as the Red Zerg against Az, the Blue Protoss, in the top. A very, very short game, and this is going to show you the power of uh, build orders and the map. So. When you see Scrap Station, you know the travel distance is extremely long. You think, okay, fast expansions, always a, a good option. And, um, what else was I going to say? And, a, oh yeah, a, like a long macro game. So, as is operating under that assumption, before he's done any scouting, before the game has really even started, we're seeing an early pylon. Looks like he's going to prepare like kind of a wall off to his expansion and his main base. Got to be careful of these rocks though. If I choose to bust those down early, that might be a problem for him. him. And now he's sending out a scout. What am I doing? Well, you can't really tell yet. It's too early, so uh, don't worry about it. But anyway, keep in mind that pylon is there. Alright, nine overlord. Three more drones coming out. Nothing too unusual at this point. But, you will see something unusual in a second. Sending my overload over, you always want to check immediately when you're scouting the opponent their choke point. That'll give away so much about their build. And when I saw that he didn't have anything at this choke point, which my overload will reveal in just a second, I was thinking, okay, he's either trying some kind of crazy proxy or he's trying fast expansion. And I will see this pylon in just a moment and I'll be thinking, okay, fast expansion, probably some kind of wall off. And uh, I wasn't really expecting the 14 gas, 14 pool, which is what I did, to really do too much. So, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to catch up. I might have to take a really fast expansion after I get my zergling speed here. But then I realized something, and I'll show you that in just a moment. This pro being extremely annoying. So I'm going to be getting my speed after 100 gas, pulling back off, and starting on the minerals. But then this happened. Just watch, watch. It is awesome. He's putting down a Nexus. He's putting down a Nexus. He knows I'm getting a 14 pool. And he's getting a Nexus before a gateway, before a forge, before a second pylon. He's 18 out of 18 right now. I've never seen this build. Uh, it's probably a popular build. I don't know. But he's just now getting a gateway. So what am I doing? Look at my freaking rally point. I'm sending the lings to his base. Gas is down. Or, uh, speed is going down. Six Zerglings being trained. I saved up my larva. Queen is coming out. I want to make sure not to Psylock myself. I want to make sure to take this expansion. I can still afford to take this expansion while sending out Lings. And I just want to micro the Lings like crazy. He doesn't have a wall off quite yet here. He actually cancels this. He doesn't know what he's doing. I think he's panicking at this point. He knows my Lings are coming. He saw a probe. There was actually a probe out here. I believe I killed it. You guys have any kills? Yeah, this guy's a kill, so he killed a probe, and now he's like, okay, I can't wall off my expansion, I'll wall off my main. Alright, he has a seal on his main now, but his expansion is now vulnerable. It looks like he might have to cancel that. Chrono boosting the first zealot, but four zerglings are already in his base, still rallying, making sure to inject. Speed is almost up. He cancels the pylon now. He is just panicking like crazy, sending out probes. This isn't a transfer, this is called, I'm almost gonna die here, I need to help my zealot out. Surrounding the zealots, trying to run back. I don't want to engage this though. I have tons of links coming. He's running off one gateway. Let me just kind of <clears throat> run around, kite him a little bit, and uh, wait for my reinforcements to come. Once my larva links come right here, it's going to be insane. So probe getting picked off. Zealots a little bit too far out. Surrounding one of them, and look at. Okay, I want to go back just a little bit, you guys, since this is such a, such a short game. I can afford to do that uh, just once or twice. Now look what I'm doing. I want to ideally surround both these zealots. But he runs one back and I'm able to surround one of them with these links. Unfortunately, three of my links are against one of his zealots. So I don't want these links to fight this zealot. So watch what I do. I'm going to back them up and let these guys kill off that zealot. And then I'm going to surround again. So you'll see I was able to salvage two links because I knew that there were two battles going on and one of them was uneven. So now these probes are just fair picking right here. Killing so many of them. He's got two gateways up. He can't really get a, a cannon up. He just doesn't have the time. And this is where, backing up once again, <clears throat> after killing these probes, I just split my force. Half my lings up this way. Half my lings going to go to his expansion. And uh, more lings reinforcing 
not injecting. There we go. There's that injection. Pretty nice timing on that. And he knows there's just nothing he can do. These probes up here are dying. If we look at the harvest count, 12 to 14. That's just terrible. Nexus is already at two-thirds HP. And it uh, just shows you the power of the build order. His his Nexus first, I spotted that right away. I had my link speed. I Fortunately, I had a pretty lucky build to go against him. I chose to get that 14 pool instead of that 15 or 14 hatch, and I was able to out-micro him um, with the lings, which I'm not trying to discredit him because there's not much he could do in that situation, but hope you guys like this anyway. So that's my game against Az. It's Shorty Buddy Goody, and thanks for watching.